We talked for a few more minutes, but the smiles faded from my husband and mother in law's faces. Laura, are you all right? What? No, it's nothing. My husband asked me impatiently. Obviously, he must have plotted something. Then my mother in law suddenly stood up. Ouch! Ow!、Oh. My mother in law rushes into the bathroom holding onto her stomach. Mom, what's wrong with you? Why do I have to have this much pain in my stomach? This can't be. Lara, you didn't switch the tea, did you? I did. Me and your mother. Why did you do that? What's wrong if I switched? My name is Lara. I'm a 30 year old office worker. My husband Joshua and I have been married for two years. We met through work. My current husband is a mid career hire from a client I was working for. At first, he was new to the company and didn't seem to be getting used to the job. But the next time I met him, he seemed to have gotten used to it. I thought he was a smart man. Eventually, we got closer and we started going out on dates and for dinners. He confessed his feelings for me and we were officially dating. After that, our relationship went smoothly. He proposed to me and we got married. I think our newlywed life was going very well. My husband is not a good cook, so I was always cooking. In return, he did the cleaning and laundry. He also took the initiative in taking out the garbage, which was really helpful. But recently, he has been acting differently. Or rather, his attitude towards me has changed. He used to follow me everywhere I went. And he always wanted attention from me when we were at home. I had to tell him to be patient with me. It was as if I had to train him like a puppy. But nowadays, he rarely spoils me like that. He used to talk to me in a sweet voice. Lately, He's been rather cold. What's for dinner? It's hamburger, your favorite. Mmm, okay. That's not much of a reaction. I went to the trouble of making it for my husband, but even after that, his reaction was cold. It's as if he's not interested in me. He was so kind to me in the beginning. I hope one day he will be kind to me again. And not only my husband, there is another person who is bothering me. My mother in law. My mother in law has been picking on me since the beginning of our marriage. Hey, Lara, why didn't you prepare snacks? I'm sorry to hear that, but you visit us out of nowhere. Normally, you'd expect it and have it ready. No, that's impossible. Until now, my husband has been taking my side and talking back to my mother in law. Lately, my husband has joined her in attacking me. I really don't think Lara is considerable, do you? It's a wife's duty to be prepared for whenever my mother comes over. You never know when I'm going to leave you if you continue like that. He says things like this. And my husband makes threats of divorce. I'm upset because he wasn't like that before. I feel a mixture of sadness and still wanting to trust my husband. Then one day, the unbelievable happened. One weekend, my mother in law came to her house. For some reason, she brought tea and sweets that day. She brought an expensive looking tea and talked happily to me. I went out of my way to buy the finest tea I could find today. Let's drink it together. I don't know. Why is she so kind to me? It's like there's some kind of malice in it. And my husband said, Thank you, mother. I'll make the tea today then. 
Lately, he's been telling me, "Hurry up and prepare the table. My mother is waiting." Why is he being so kind to me today? While I was feeling uneasy, my husband brought me a cup of tea with a grin on his face. Wow! It smells so good. My mother-in-law said as she put her face close to the tea. I was a bit skeptical and moved my face closer to the tea. It smelled like a regular tea, but there's something strange, like bubbles floating in the tea. This is definitely not good. I think I should not drink that. But what should I do? I wondered if there was any way I could replace this tea. Oh, that's right, mother-in-law. Your favorite Korean singer was on a music show the other night, and I recorded it. You can watch it if you like. Oh, really? I'll watch it right away. Then my mother-in-law went to get the remote control. Oh, isn't there any snacks? You made tea, but you forgot to prepare the snacks. I told my husband. My husband is a bit arrogant, so he's easily provoked. I was just about to do it now. Wait a moment. My husband said and went to get the plates and the snacks. I replaced my tea with my mother-in-law's tea the moment they were looking away. Then they both came back to the table. Well, let's have some tea, shall we? Well, it's a fine cup of tea, isn't it? My mother-in-law and my husband began to drink their tea, and they watched me carefully as I sipped it. It certainly tastes different from the usual. I commented. My husband and mother-in-law have a grin on their faces. I know, I know, it's different. Yeah, it's delicious. My husband and mother-in-law laughed out loud at my comment about it being delicious. Oh yeah, it's good. I'm sure they put something in it. I said, "Yes, it's very good," and drank all the tea. My husband and mother-in-law were still grinning. We talked for a few more minutes, but the smiles faded from my husband and mother-in-law's faces. Lara, are you all right? What? No, nothing. My husband asked me impatiently. Obviously, he must have plotted something. And then my mother-in-law suddenly stood up. Ouch! Ah! My mother-in-law rushed into the bathroom, holding onto her stomach. Mom. Mom, what's wrong with you? Why do I have this much pain in my stomach? Oh no, no way! Hey, Lara, you didn't switch the tea, did you? I switched. Me and your mother's. What? Why did you do that? What? What's wrong with switching? Does that mean there was something bad in the first tea you served me? No, um, it's just that. Tell me the truth. Otherwise, you won't be able to handle it properly, and your mother will be in danger. As I said that, he told me the truth. I had actually planted a large amount of powdered laxative in your tea. Huh? Of course, you'd get an upset stomach if you did that, and in large quantities, it could be fatal. Really? Call an ambulance. Oh, okay. That's how my mother-in-law was carried away on the ambulance. My husband was very upset and rushed to accompany her. I decided to put the tea that my husband had planted laxatives in a water bottle and saved it as evidence. I'll take this to the police and file a report. While my husband and mother-in-law were at the hospital, I decided to pack up my belongings. 
I called my parents home and asked them to help me move my belongings and I went to my parents' house. When I arrived at my parents' house, I got a call from my husband. My mom is in danger. She's in pretty bad shape. She has to stay in the hospital for a few days. So I need you to bring her a change of clothes and some other things, okay? Huh? What are you talking about? Of course I don't want to do that. Hey, you can't do that. My mom's in trouble. You're my wife. You should at least do that. I can't be with you anymore. I'm divorcing you. Divorce? When I said the word divorce, my husband was silent for a moment, then said, I see. If you insist on divorcing me, then I don't have a choice. But you're the one who asked for the divorce. You don't get a share of the property. What are you talking about? You're the one who caused the divorce. So I'll take what I can get. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not paying you a dime. The divorce was your idea. It's not my fault. I'm disgusted. You're the one who tried to force me to drink a cup of laxative tea in the first place. How can you think that you're not at fault? Besides, I have a big weapon against him so that he will be punished. But before I could mention it, he hung up on the phone. Well, I have a lot of things to do, like arrange a lawyer, so I'll let it go for now. After that, my husband asked me why my stuff is missing in the house. He says the house is falling apart because I don't do the chores. I got a lot of unreasonable and selfish messages. No, you're willing to divorce me, aren't you? Do you understand that you have to take care of the house by yourself once we are divorced? There are so many aspects I wanted to make him clear, but I didn't respond to my husband until after I had arranged for a lawyer. Then my mother in law got out of the hospital, and my husband and in laws came to my parents' house. My husband and in laws are in a bad mood. Divorce is not an option, but I'll comply. You didn't even come to visit my mother in the hospital after what happened to her. You just got out of her house, taking your belongings. How can I stay married to a woman like that? My husband said in an arrogant way. My mother in law kept on giving me a nasty look. And it seemed that my husband and mother in law told the whole story only from their point of view. So my father in law believes my husband's story. Laura, I think you're being a little selfish. My father in law is the only sane person in my husband's family. I'm sure he would think that if we were told only my husband's side of the story. I took out my phone and played an audio clip. I had actually planted a large amount of powdered laxative in Lara's tea. In many ways, the audio was a solid evidence. As soon as they heard this audio, my husband and mother in law's faces turned pale. How did that conversation come about? My husband had dug his own grave. Father, I felt I was in danger. I quickly replaced mother in law's tea with my own. Then mother in law suddenly got a stomachache. She has always been bullying me. And my husband used to be angry with my mother in law for that. But recently, they started attacking me together. And finally, he crossed the line. After hearing my explanation, my father in law had a furious look on his face and glared at my husband and mother in law. Hey, Joshua, what's going on? Is it true that you were bullying her too? My husband and mother in law were embarrassed when my father in law confronted them. No, no, wait, Dad! This was just for fun. Lara got sick to her stomach, and I was actually planting laxatives in her tea. 
It was like a fun surprise, you know. And I would, of course, not bully her. Neither would I. I was just joking with her. And you would call that bullying? I don't know how much of a joke they are. Don't think you can get away like that forever. This is why Joshua has been so horrible to me, isn't it? I took out an envelope and put its content on the table. It was the photographic evidence of the affair of my husband that I got from the hired detective agency. My husband's face turned even more pale. W why? Did you think I didn't know anything? Your attitude was so cold that I thought it was suspicious and hired an investigation agency. I never thought you were really having an affair. You're probably just trying to harass me and get me to initiate a divorce. Apparently, I had hit the nail on the head because my husband was breaking out in a cold sweat. I confronted him with the divorce papers to finish him off. No matter how stupid you are, if you're confronted with divorce papers in this situation, you know you're at a disadvantage, don't you? Of course, I'll get alimony. And I'll also get a fair share of the property. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to report you for assault for planting the laxative. Huh? The police? Wait a minute. Don't you feel sorry for Joshua? Huh? What are you talking about? It's not just my husband. You, mother in law, are just as guilty. He was cooperating with you. Huh? Wait a minute. Why am I even supposed to be arrested? It was Joshua who planted the laxative. Mom, you came up with this plan. Don't you dare try to put this only on me. What? You asked me to help you because you found a new potential wife. My husband and mother in law started to fight. Neither of them would admit their guilt. They were scums. Finally, my father in law got fed up and snapped. Enough! You both committed a crime. Give it up and take responsibility together. Don't complain when the police take you away. And Joshua, you need to take responsibility for the affair. Pay Lara the alimony she deserves, and she'll get your share of the property. My husband and mother in law were completely freaked out by the sound of my father in law's angry voice. I'm glad my father in law snapped first because my father was about to lose his temper too. I said, Let's go through the lawyers to deal with the rest of this. So I told him to sign the divorce papers as soon as possible. My husband was reluctant to sign the papers, but my father in law yelled at him again and he signed them finally. I'm truly sorry for the trouble my stupid son and my stupid wife have caused you. I apologize. My father in law said that to us and took my husband and mother in law home. After that, I filed a claim for alimony with my ex husband and the adulterer through my lawyer. I received $30,000 from each of them. Then I filed a police report against my ex husband and ex mother in law for assault. I submitted the audio of my husband intentionally planting a laxative and the tea that was made at the time of the incident. So they were arrested. They were both fined. Incidentally, my ex father in law was so disgusted with my ex mother in law, he left her and asked for a divorce. So my ex mother in law had to work and pay the fine herself. But since she and my ex husband are trying to stab each other's backs, my ex mother in law can't even rely on her own son. She's currently working part time for a low monthly salary to pay the fine. As for my ex husband, his adulterer was pissed off at him for lying that they could get married without causing me any trouble, 
She snapped at my ex-husband, and my ex-husband promised to pay the affair partner's alimony instead. So he borrowed money from a consumer loan and paid the affair partner's alimony to me in one lump sum. At that moment, the adulterer disappeared. In short, my ex-husband was abandoned by both me and the adulterer, and he was left with a huge debt. He really deserves it. On the other hand, I got what I wanted, and my share of the property was secured, so I'm relieved. I'm currently living in an apartment by myself, and I'm working hard. And just recently, I got a promotion. I'm thinking of taking a trip with friends or my parents to celebrate. It's a crime to intentionally make someone drink tea containing laxatives, isn't it? It's not a joke. The husband and mother-in-law should go to the bottom of hell. At any rate, I'm glad that the father-in-law was a decent person who understood what Lara was going through. It was a disaster this time, but I hope Lara will find a wonderful person in the near future.